Hi, Bernina Jeff here. I'm going to explain needles today and try to take the mystery out of the needle selection for your sewing project. Um, I looked at my needle selection wall and I have over a hundred different needle sizes and types to choose from. It's right next to my office and I see the customers over there and they're just get the deer in the headlights look because they're just what type of needle do I need? So here's my approach to selecting the right needle for you. First off, a needle has a groove right down the center all the way to the eye of the needle. And this groove changes in size as you get a larger needle, the groove gets larger. So that is my determining factor of uh, what needle you use when you have selected the thread you want to use. So the first thing I'll ask a customer is, what thread are you using with your project? And they'll say, well, I'm using a King Tut thread. And I said, you know, King Tut and Superior Thread is a great company because they give you this, the suggested needle size right on the end of the spool. So the King Tut thread, if you read the fine print, it says, use a top stitch size 90 slash 14. And a top stitch needle has an eye in the needle that is twice as tall to allow that heavier thread to go through the eye of the needle without shredding. If you're having issues with your thread shredding or breaking, try a stop, top stitch needle and a larger size. A size 14 has a deeper groove here because the shaft is larger. If you're trying to put a heavy thread through a smaller size needle like a size 10, that thread drags as it's going in and out of the fabric and will start separating at the weakest point. So you want that thread to hide in that channel as the needle's going down into your fabric. So that's the main thrust of this uh, little video is to explain you know, why the needles get bigger and what to use. Um, another really good resource on the needles to, for your project is Schmetz. Schmetz has free handouts. You can go online, they have a great website. A good fabric store or a machine store will have these free handouts for your Schmetz needle selection. They have a pocket guide you can just keep right with you. They have a bigger guide and the newer Schmetz needles are all color coded too so you can actually tell what size is actually in your machine without having to be in the case. Um, I have three favorite needles and these three favorite needles will probably get you through most of your projects. Um, the jack of all trades and master at none is a universal type needle. The universal type needle has a tip that's slightly rounded, so it'll go through knit fabrics or it'll also go through woven fabrics without skipping and perform fairly well. So again, it's a jack of all trades. It's not perfect at any of them. So if you want that perfect stitch, you need to uh, consult your um, needle selection guide or your a qualified person at a fabric store or machine store. The other one I just mentioned was a top stitch needle. A size 14 top stitch needle will handle the bigger size 40 threads like people are using on the top of their quilts and it will handle the size 40 embroidery threads very well. And that leads me right into the embroidery needle. A lot of machine manufacturers suggest an 11 size 11 for your embroidery um, I have found that with some of the embroidery threads that are size 40s, you will get shredding or breakage with that size 11. Switch to a size 14, and the Schmetz Gold 14 has a gold shaft. It's actually coated with a titanium coating, and it's kind of color coded. The whole shaft is gold colored, so you know that you have a embroidery needle in there. And the embroidery needle also has an eye that is larger and more polished for embroidery threads because they're working at a very high speed and going in and out thousands and thousands of times. So I hope that helps you on a quick little video on how to select your needles. Again, go to a qualified store and most of those staff members will know what they're talking about. Also, subscribe to my channel and watch my other tips on Bernina uh, seven series. I just did one on several different items. So please subscribe. Thanks. This is Bernina Jeff. Bye.